Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where a corrupt police officer made a false report against an innocent man who then got thrown to the ground and arrested because of it. On May 15, 2023, Officer Clements of the Logan Township Police Department was out on patrol duty near an industrial complex when she spotted a white vehicle driving out of a commercial building. She noticed that the vehicle's license plate cover was tinted, essentially obstructing the plate. So as per her authority, Officer Clements pulled the driver over and initiated a traffic stop. Coming to Logan Township Department, your license registration insurance. Uh, my, my license number. I thought I brought. My okay. I was I got my That's no problem. What should I get stopped for? Uh, so that plate cover on the back. So you can't have a tinted plate cover. The frame is fine, but the plate it makes it difficult for the plate to see. So that is not allowed. All right. Do you have that number for me? Yeah, one eight seven seven. Okay. One two nine. Uh huh. Uh, that, that's in the door. Inside the door. All right. That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get you my uh, registration. Okay. Alrighty. In the area for work? What kind of vehicle do you have? I'm not getting any. Oh, here? Yeah, that's why I was. I just go out and go to the store, come back, and. It's a white Ford sedan. So far into the encounter with the driver, everything appeared to be going smoothly for both parties. However, even though this driver is not the victim of this encounter, it's to be noted that the New Jersey Supreme Court, in a ruling heralded by civil libertarians as a check on law enforcement power, ruled on August 5, 2021, that police cannot pull over a motorist merely because their license plate bracket or plate holder slightly obscures the vehicle's tag. Judging by this, it remains debatable whether the tended license plate cover on the driver's vehicle was obstructive enough to warrant a traffic stop. But regardless, this is where the encounter took an unexpected and rather ridiculous turn. A man, apparently the driver's co-worker, walked up to the scene and stood at a very safe distance from Officer Clements. Let's watch and closely listen to the conversation between Officer Clements and the man. Hello? I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I understand that, that's fine, but I'm gonna stop. If you could just go back over there, please. As we've just heard, the man was simply unhappy with Officer Clements' attitude toward him, nothing else. We can clearly tell that the man was not aggressive or threatening either. All he did was voice out his opinion, likely because Officer Clements immediately tried to dismiss him even though he was not physically interfering. Despite all this, Officer Clements then decided that it would be a good idea to blatantly lie to dispatch about the confrontation by claiming that the man had threatened to beat her up. As ridiculous as it sounds, she also called backup for assistance. Twenty-five cars, but somebody else slide out here. Thirty copies. I'm gonna go around and hide on that. You know who this guy is? Yeah, I know who he is. What's his name? Uh, oh, you gotta ask some more. You don't know his name? I can't. I mean, I. I, I, I there you are. Right? Yeah, some dude just walked up to my stop and told me that he's going to uh, beat me up. You don't have your insurance? Yeah, I got it. All right, that's no problem. What's your location? 30 on Center Square and uh, Pedro Pedro Stone. I'm uh, coming up High Hill 130. Just to clarify, this is a pedestrian that walked up on your stop. Can you give a brief description, please? Yeah, it's a black male. He works at Lineage. It's about 35, red pants, navy blue hoodie, orange traffic vest. Thank you. Are you listening? Let me check on this. Uh, uh, my registration is just run at two because I'm not Yeah, I'll check on this, and uh, when I come back, if you have your insurance, no problem. Thank you.
At this point, Officer Clements had falsely reported on the alleged confrontation between her and the man. It's important to analyze how serious this accusation was and what the other responding officers would be ready for when they arrive on the scene for backup. Generally, threatening to cause injury to someone falls under the category of assault, According to Section 2C12-1 of the New Jersey Revised Statutes, it stated that a person is guilty of assault if the person attempts to cause or purposely, knowingly, or recklessly causes bodily injury to another. So Officer Clements had essentially falsely accused the man of assault, and that's what the officers were relayed by dispatch. Additionally, by intentionally lying to dispatch, Officer Clements had committed official misconduct which, under Section 2C30-2, is when he commits an act relating to his office, but constituting an unauthorized exercise of his official functions. Knowing that such an act is unauthorized, or he is committing such act in an unauthorized manner, or when he knowingly refrains from performing a duty which is imposed upon him by law or is clearly inherent in the nature of his office. Now, watch as Officer Clements continue to act in retaliation against the man, ordering him to leave the very property he works at. She then continued to exaggerate the situation by informing dispatch that the man was actively yelling at her, which was clearly not the case, as you will see. Sir, you need to go back inside. Yeah, you need to go back inside. Let's go. I want to stop. How far are you guys out? Yeah, 2530. I'm uh, approaching 323 from 130 now. 44 seconds. I'm okay. The driver's being cooperative. I patched him, but uh, this now is kind of just lingering, yelling at me. Alright, copy. Black male, red pants, navy blue hoodie, orange traffic vest. He is inside the gates at Lineage. Amidst this, a supervisor from the commercial building stepped outside to speak with the officer and ask her about what had happened and why his employee was pulled over. But for some reason, Officer Clements was still overly paranoid and scared, asking the supervisor to step away. Also, it's unclear why Officer Clements felt so threatened, even though nobody on the scene posed a threat to her. Note how her hands were still shaking while she was inside the patrol vehicle. There's a few more people approaching now. You guys are good. Good morning. I'm sorry. Could you go back over there? I want to stop. It'll be two seconds. I just came. I'm the supervisor. I just came to see. He works here. That's yeah, I, I understand. I'll, and I'll be I'm clear here. with him in two seconds. And then I'm just asking you, is, is, is everything? Yeah, right? everything's fine, and I'll be clear in two seconds. Can I ask you what he stopped for? Yeah, he was stopped for the plate cover. That's it. Already. So I want to ask you. Please, All right. You know, I don't have a problem. As Officer Clements made her way back to the patrol vehicle, another unit could be seen pulling up. Logan Township Officer Kalishian parked his patrol vehicle right in front of the commercial building's gate and immediately stepped out to confront the supervisor, who was there to check up on his employee. Note that he completely neglected the need to investigate what actually happened, and instead charged at the falsely accused man for simply talking back to him. No, I'm on the supervisor. I just came to check on my employee. That's it. Yeah, this be, first she off, explained. No, first, yeah, first off, Ben, I did walk up. And, no, I didn't walk. She wasn't talking about oh, me. Okay. She called about Yeah, what's and what's what's your deal, man? They want to stop. You, sure. Yeah, but you don't need to be. You don't need to be flapping your gums at us. I got you. I live here. I got you. I'm gonna speak to him. No, now, he's, now you're under arrest. Now you're under arrest. No, now you're under arrest. Turn around. Turn around. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Turn around. Turn around. Don't resist, bro. Bro, they came out to me. I don't do shit. I resist. You don't. Don't kill, bro. 
Sir, you're under arrest for disorderly what, conduct. What's your problem? Arresting me at work, bro. I didn't do break no rules, no law. Get off me! Stop bringing my arm. Get my boss, yo. Just watch her back. Get my boss, bro. Calm down. 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 You relax. Bro, I just lost no, my he, daughter. I, I know, he, okay. he did. He did. He did. All right. That's, okay. That's fine. Did. That's fine. Bro, that's... All right. He just came back right. today from the All right. Today, so. We will figure this out, okay? Please, Dude, I'm sorry for your loss, right? But relax, okay? We're just going to roll you over and, and let, let you catch your breath, all right? I know him constantly. Roll over. Good, roll over. Once we, get you, up. once we get you up, we'll, we'll loosen your cuff. Yeah. What's your name, man? What's your name? I'll give you one name, bro. Came up on me. So I asked you why you were flapping your gums at us, and your because response to me, you your response to me was suck my d K. You talking about why I'm flapping right my gums? So now you're I'm under arrest. I'm checking with my co Well, now you're under arrest okay. for using the words you had to use in front of everybody. I want to talk to my boss. No. Nope. Bro, you want to kill me? No. I want to talk to my boss. It's good. Dude. Oh. Yo, yo, relax. Yo, yo, bro. yo, yo. It's not worth it, man. It's not bro, worth it. I'm trying to it's relax. Not worth it. My phone not even on me. It's That's not. What I'm to tell you. Relax. <sighs> relax, bud. <sighs> All right. Hell, let me go. Re hey, well, oh, Pat. What, what car? Pat, car they arrested me for nothing, Pat. Let's just put him in here. You know I just lost my daughter, bro. They arrested me Can for you nothing. Do me favor? Can you calm down? This isn't gonna get you any better. Take that anger down tonight. Have a seat, hey, please. All right. I did 11 years on parole, they keep doing to me. They ain't gonna solve anything. As seen in the footage, Officer Kalishian first tried to restrain the man by grabbing and pulling him. Officer Kalishian then violently threw him to the ground in an attempt to place him in handcuffs, even though he had done nothing wrong. As this went on, several more units arrived on the scene and assisted with detaining the man, who also unfortunately lost his daughter very recently making this encounter far more worse. Since the man was now arrested for simply using an inappropriate phrase in public, let's discuss what the First Amendment says. It stated that, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Now, even though the Constitution emphasizes freedom of speech, there are certain New Jersey laws that blur the fine line of protected speech. We know that the man was placed under arrest for disorderly conduct, as stated by Officer Kalishian. Under Section 2C33-2 of the New Jersey Code, subsection B in specific, it stated that, a person is guilty of a petty disorderly person's offense if, in a public place, and with purpose to offend the sensibilities of a hearer, or in reckless disregard of the probability of so doing. He addresses unreasonably loud and offensively coarse or abusive language. Given the circumstances of the person present and the setting of the utterance to any person present, note that public in this context means affecting or likely to affect persons in a place to which the public or a substantial group has access. Now, it's worth noting that this statute specifically stemmed from the concern of families and children being exposed to offensive language out in public. Keeping this in mind, we can argue that the man was not unreasonably loud and no third party within his vicinity was offended by what he said. In fact, there were absolutely zero bystanders around, nobody but law enforcement, security personnel, and the workers. Taking all of this into account, 
It could be said that charging the man with disorderly conduct was an act of retaliation by Officer Kalishian. And considering that this would not have happened if Officer Clements hadn't lied to dispatch, we can also argue that this entire encounter leading up to the man's arrest was unreasonable. Who witnessed this out here? <laughs> Peyton, is this who approached you? Yeah, he told me that he was on the Okay. All right, we're going to go right here. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, uh, if, if someone, someone just wants to gather their guys' yeah. info. Um, yeah, so his response to me, when I asked why he's flapping his gums to me while I was talking to the security officer was, now he's under arrest for disorderly. You're not going to use that language. You got employees out over there. I was speaking with him as well. I'm not having that. Tell him why I said so, that to you, bro. He's going to Tell him why I said that to you. Like, he's not going to jail or nothing. Correct. Well, actually, well, he, I, might, he might be he down might. because of... We got terroristic threats on the yeah, officer, too. We got terroristic hey, threats, uh, uh, resisting arrest. Uh, we have it. So, we have it. Nobody. And he just walked away. It's be a different story. I was talking with your security guard. He was very polite. He was very polite and respectful. He advised me that he spoke with her already. Understood what was going on. You know, obviously, when a car stop, don't walk up on us because it makes us nervous. And now he's walking up to on her, so threatening he's her. Going, yeah, threatening me. So. so. All right. Hey, sir. In the event he's not going to cooperate, <laughs> do we have all his information? Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It We're, it'll, it'll be easier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If, if someone j okay, just wants to hang, the other guys just follow me back. Even till this point. The lie told by Officer Clements continued to play a big part in this ordeal, and what's ridiculous is how confidently Officer Clements continued to allege that the man had threatened to assault her, even though her body cam proved otherwise. The officers on the scene were even referring to the man's non-existent threats as terroristic, which was quite alarming. Next, the officers on the scene engaged in a discussion, but Officer Kalishian was quick to mute his body cam before that. We may never be able to tell what the topic of discussion was, but what's safe to assume is that the officers wanted it not to be heard. And I'm, I'm hoping my, my camera fell off, and I don't even know if it my was on. It's on now because I hit it. And I saw that it was off when it fell. But everyone's cameras, camera, everyone's cameras are falling off. Minimum disorderly conduct, terroristic threats, and resisting. Got this thing. Got obstruction. Okay. She came, okay. to, came to the car stop. She's trying to pull her off. Did he call his uh, parole officer also? If he's still on parole. If he's still on parole, yes. If he's not, he said he did 15 years on, so I'm assuming he's on parole now. So we, he was here when I was talking to him, when um, when I approached him and told him, video. when I approached him and told him, now you're under arrest. We went, we was like right here. Okay. Twenty-three seven, team twenty-three ten. So yeah, it was, it was all right here. Okay. Now watch as Officer Kalishian spoke to the man's boss and quite literally admitted that Officer Clements' distress call to dispatch was the reason why the encounter escalated the way that it did. In simple words, Officer Clements' false report was what caused an innocent man to end up in the back of a patrol vehicle in handcuffs. 
Is that a sell? Yeah, it's a sell. All right. All right. Um, yeah, we'll reach out to if we need anything else, but I, I appreciate it. No problem. Sorry for the uh, disturbance. Yeah, the way uh, the way she made it sound that like he was approaching her, yeah. acting like a fool, and um, hence the hence the turnout. Yeah. Yep. All right, but like I said, your security guard was cool because he he came yeah. up and uh, but he was very he was Which very. One? The, yeah, this gentleman right here, stop. yeah, oh. he, he was cool, very understanding. We explained to him, you know, not to walk up on us when we're on stops, and he, he was very cool, very compliant. So. Unfortunately, the man was transported to jail and subsequently booked for an unbelievable five criminal charges, including felony terroristic threats, obstruction, and disorderly conduct. As of the date of this recording, he is still facing these charges, and no further updates have come to light. Be sure to check out our previous video where we cover another outrageous police encounter.